to PC Tricks Guru YouTube channel and in today's video tutorial we are going to see how to separate stems from an mp3 file that has been recorded as a song so currently we are going to use uh, Acoustica Mixcraft Pro Studio this application because uh, uh, they have included an AI based stem separation and uh, this software is actually a paid software so if you want to use it you need to purchase the license from acoustica.com but no need to worry because at the end of this video I'll share two alternative ways with you using which you can uh, do the same thing I mean you can separate steam, uh, stems from an mp3 file without paying anything so the alternate options are completely free so stay tuned to the video and let's get started now let's open Acoustica Mixcraft Pro Studio version 10.5 so I already have installed it and it has been activated on my device so I clicked the icon and uh, the application is launching now once the software is up you will see this welcome screen if you want to create a new project you can simply click on new and then it will open the new project for you so the default tracks that I have is the first one is the instrumental track and the second one is the audio track and uh, this is the master track which contains all the outputs from uh, the additional tracks that you have added so what we are going to do now let's add an mp3 song in this audio track so I'm going to use one of the songs that I have written and composed uh, just to avoid any copyright issues because uh, using others music is not allowed so I do not want to get any kind of copyright strike on this video so I'll be using my own creation for the demonstration of this feature so right click on the audio track in the blank space of the audio track anywhere you can just right click and then it will open a menu from this menu click on add sound file and after clicking on add sound file you have to locate the audio file that you want to use from which you want to separate the stems so this is the file that I'm going to use let me look for it it is this one Fastly. so I have selected the song and I have opened it so as you can see that it has been placed here in this uh, uh, audio track let's play and see how does it sound here Okay, so this one is sounding good in this track and as you can see that this is just a single mp3 file it does not have any separate stems or anything so let's get started with the stem, se uh, stem separation and for that purpose you have to right click on the audio file that you have added in your audio track and then from the menu click on separate into stems so this task is actually a heavy task so you may notice that the CPU utilization of your system is uh, quite high so during this process I would not recommend you using any other applications uh, let Mixcraft do its work and once it is done uh, in a few minutes you should be able to see different tracks uh, which have the separated stems so I'll click over here and uh, then you'll see some of the options so like uh, which kind of uh, stem separation model do you want to use vocals drum piano other instruments bass so I will leave it as it is I need all the stems in separate tracks and uh, these are some other options as well if you want to select all of them you can otherwise you can leave it uh, whatever the default options have been set here so let's click on separate and wait until the stem separation task it gets completed it may take around three minutes the process has almost completed and after this you should see a pop-up that will ask you to uh, check whether you want to auto detect the tempo in the sound or not so if you get this prompt 
uh, simply click on no so I'll go ahead and click on no over here and every time a new track is generated uh, after the stem separation you should see the same pop-up so keep clicking on no until this whole process gets completed so as you can see that vocals have been generated at the left side and then drums have been generated now the third track is being processed which will be for bass so click on no again after bass you should see piano and click no again piano has been generated and now the final one is uh, for uh, the other instruments so this is it we have got all the tracks separated so the original one it has been muted at the top and now these tracks which you see are uh, the stems that are separated from the audio file so we will try to play the whole song and see how does it sound okay so it sounds well um, when uh, all the tracks are being pl played together and this is uh, on mute so now let's try to play the tracks one by one so I'll just uh, click on solo for vocals and then play it and let's see how does the vocals sound then we'll check the bass and piano and then other instruments So this is it with the Mixcraft as you can see that uh, the stem separation it has been completed and uh, you are able to hear all the instruments separately. Although the quality is not very good because it completely depends on the mp3 file that you are using how was it mixed how uh, strongly you have mixed. Now let's check uh, the other one uh, so now we will do the same thing stem separation with the, a free utility which is audacity open we know ai plugins and the second one is splitter gui for audacity open we know ai plugins if you want to know how to install it and enable it in your audacity application you can watch my previous video i'll share the link in the description of this video and you can go ahead and watch it and learn how to install the open we know ai plugins in audacity which will allow you to separate the stems and uh, create karaoke's uh, or just uh, get uh, different tracks of your music uh, in uh, audacity so let's launch audacity and uh, go through it Audacity has been launched and now I'll go ahead and insert the same song so we'll click on file and then we'll open and we'll select the same mp3 file and uh, we'll open the song here. Now the mp3 file has been opened uh, if you want to play it just click on play icon. Now before we start stem separation we need to select the area 
for which we want to separate the stems so just press ctrl a to select the whole area of the song then click on effect and then go to open vino ai effects and from there click on open vino music separation so once you click it will open uh, the open vino music separation dialog box from there you will get the options for two stem and four stems so if you want to uh, separate the stems in four different tracks just click on four stem and if you have a dedicated gpu installed in your laptop or your desktop you can select gpu otherwise you can select cpu using gpu it, it will make the processing much faster and the cpu it might take some time so we have selected cpu and started the process to separate the stems let's wait let's see how much time does it take usually it's saying that it will take around 28 minutes which is not true usually it should get completed in uh, i think uh, 10 to 12 minutes so i'll cut the video while we'll be waiting and uh, then we will check uh, the stems once they get generated completely so finally it took around 10 minutes 30 seconds to complete the whole stem separation process using the open vino music separation ai plugin and now let's uh, listen to the separated stems listen to the tracks that have been generated here <laughs> Uh, audacity it has done a really great job in stem separation because uh, if i compare it with the acoustica mixcraft uh, this one the open vino ai music plugin uh, stem separation plugin it sounds more clearer and uh, i think the quality of the generated stems are much better than mixcraft so it be i believe that in future uh, maybe acoustica would uh, do some improvements with their ai stem separation technology and uh, uh, it is gradually supposed to be improving with time so now let's go and uh, see the other tool which is uh, splitter gui so for splitter gui you have to just open the web browser and then search for splitter gui after searching for splitter gui you'll see the first link that is from makeandweb.com so click on that uh, link and it will redirect you to the page from where you can download splitter gui so this is a 629 mb of file which has uh, all the python libraries that are required for uh, stem separation and uh, the other installation files everything is there in one zip file itself so just click on uh, download and it would be downloaded so i already have installed splitter that's why i'm not downloading it i just launch splitter and then i'll show you how does it work so we have uh, parts to separate two four five so i'll click on five which will generate vocal, bass, drums, piano and other instruments in separate mp3 files and then it would save the files to the desktop in uh, a dedicated projects folder that I uh, that uh, the tool will be generating automatically now let's go to the music file again and uh, I'll select the music file where I have stored it so I'll go to my audio and I'll select the song Fastly and uh, I'll open it here 
So once we open uh, Fastly, you'll see that it's showing it's working and one song remaining. Right. So it usually takes around two to three minutes because this splitter GUI tool is very fast and it doesn't take much time. So within a few minutes, it should be done with its work. So let's wait while uh, the stem separation process has been going on. So now here you can see that uh, the processing it has been completed. It shows run complete and an output folder has been created on the desktop as predefined. So I'll just double click on output and then you'll see the folder of the song and there you'll see bass, drums, other piano and vocals. So let's try to listen to all the tracks that have been generated. So I'll open them one by one and let's check the quality. Alright, so this is it. I hope that uh, uh, you liked the video and found it useful. If you liked the video, click on like button and uh, do subscribe to the channel. If you want to share it with your friends, share the video with your friends so that they would uh, know about the stem separation process. And uh, if you have any questions, you can just leave a comment there. And don't forget to click on the bell icon as well. So this is it from my end. So thank you very much for watching the video and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye for now.